Hi everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to create the screen scroll effect that you see here. This is a great way to display your digital content, content that might be just too long to squeeze into a PowerPoint. All right, so let's get started. These are the elements that you are going to need in order to make this effect. We've got a hollow phone, the content I want to scroll, and then a couple other boxes I'll go through to help us make this effect. So you might be surprised to find that my phone is entirely made out of rounded rectangles shapes and the the biggest one that's important is that this main rectangle shape has no fill it is just an outline so that, that is not a white box it is actually hollow all right so I created my phone shape um, by copying kind of that image from the internet and then I'm gonna want to group it to group its option command G Next, I have my content. I want to line this up in a perfect line and also make sure that any content uh, is not wider than the width of the cell phone screen. So I don't want anything hanging out over those edges. So perfect, I'm gonna line it up. And again, I'm just gonna select everything I want to scroll through and group it, Command Option G. We want this to move as a single unit. All right, so let's move my content out of the way, bring my phone screen to the middle. Okay, so the next thing I wanna do is create a mask so that the outside, the top and the bottom are not seen as the content moves through this phone screen. So to do that, I'm going to wanna duplicate this middle phone screen and reverse it. So I do not want an outline, but I do want a solid fill. I'll make that orange just so we can see it. So this is the space that will be seen. All right, next I'm gonna put this mask over top. So this is what's gonna hide the top and the bottom as it moves through. Select that mask, then select the place you want hollowed out, click Shape Format. Under Merge Shapes, you're going to want to subtract. And what's that, what that's doing is subtracting that orange shape from the blue shape. And that's perfect. We're going to want to put that straight to the back, send to back, so that our phone figure here is, is on top. All right, so this is well and good. You can kind of see where this is all going. Ooh, let's send that all the way to the back. Perfect. You can see where this is going, but obviously you don't want a blue box around the, the edge. Um, and you might not want a white box either. Let's say that your presentation has a blue background or a black background. So you can always click the slide background fill and it will adapt to whatever color or pattern you have set as the background on your master slide. All right, so here we are. We can drag this behind. And as you can see, this is shaping up quite nicely. All right, so we're gonna use the animation tool in order to make this scroll by itself through the phone screen. Click Path Animation Lines. The line will always default to this kind of downward motion. So the green dot is where it starts and the red dot is where it ends. So I'm gonna to wanna to select the red dot and hold down the Shift key so that when I drag it, it will stay in that straight line. I'm just gonna drag it until I can see that shadow figure end right where I want it to end. All right, so let's go to our animation pane and give this a shot. Perfect, that's the motion I want, but not the timing. So let's up the timing a little bit. I want this to be, let's say seven seconds long. And I want it to, ding, 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 start. I want it to have a one second delay. So I want people to see this first screen before they start moving, before the content starts moving. All right, and I don't want a smooth start or a smooth end. Let's just make it all one solid motion. All right, so if we play this again, this is more, this is a more consumable speed for the content to be, to be absorbed. So the only thing I don't love is that you can kind of see down here, it's a little bit of a teaser of what's coming. So I do want to hide that. I'm just going to go into shapes, rectangle, create a rectangle that's big enough to cover it. Perfect. And then I'm going to actually make it a gradient fill. And so I want the first gradient, let's see, let's make it, yep, top down. So I want this bottom color to be this the same gray as the background of the PowerPoint software and then I want the top to be this darker shadow gray and again I'm just using this eyedropper tool perfect so those are the right colors Ooh, no line those are right colors but not quite at the right uh, gradient level so I'm going to drag this up until it matches and let's see how she does there 
Wow, almost a perfect match. So no one is gonna guess what is coming. All right, so again, to remind you, you can click the play from in this animation if you want to display this in kind of the working PowerPoint screen, and that's all well and good. You can also go down here to presentation mode, and all you need to do is click, and your animation will start. Again, it had that one second delay, so people were able to absorb the screen before it started moving. I always recommend that. And as you can see, I love Dolly Parton. I always recommend her music as well. So I hope you have learned something great about how to display your digital content all in PowerPoint.